Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2023 Bowman's Best University Football. Yes, football in that Topps Bowman style. It's the eight box break, random player break number two. One spot gets you three players. It's a 25 spot break. Any dual multi-sign cards can be randomized between the players on the card, right? So the Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, Caleb Williams triple, that would be a randomizer between those three. And, and actually, Bryce Young and CJ Stroud are, are under the all other players not on list. Nick Jaspi was letting me know that Bryce Young and CJ Stroud only, do not have base autos or parallels. So I think they're only like the specialty or insert autos like this. So they're in all the all other players not on list. But most everyone else is, including the players that we'll probably be looking for next year like, like Caleb Williams. All right, so big thanks to this group. There's the original 25. That's what we're going to use for the promo to the original 25, as we always do. And then we'll triple you up. So there are all of the names. Let's get them into the first list. And there are all the uh, players. Let's get them into a different blank list. And then we'll use the first tab right here for the randomizer results. Let's roll it, randomize it. Six and a four, 10 times for names and players. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Ten, right? Yes, ten. Got Jeremy all the way down to Chad. Six and a four, ten times for the players. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. Six and a four, 10 times, 10 times. We got Clayton Toon down to Nick Singleton. So I'm not gonna read all of these names. There's too many names, gotta preserve my voice for, uh, for tomorrow, for Thursday. Tomorrow's my Friday already, jeez. Week went by fast. Here's the first part of the list right there. Jeremy Port with that all other players spot. So I'm going to show you just the list as is, just because I want to get it on this recording. Put it on wax, as they say, when they used to put things on wax. Do they still put things on wax? I guess they, they're still vinyl records. There's everybody right here. And now I'm going to alphabetize by your first name. So you can see all your players grouped together. So Chad Cromwell, you got a bunch of players. There they are. Nice. Bo Nix, Caleb Williams, it might be... Could be some first round picks next year. Dorian Thomas Robbins from PCLA was drafted this year. You got Hendon Hooker, Ed P. They're your players, right? You got some Kool Aid right there. He does have a Kool Aid NIL deal. I think that's what Gabe said yesterday. Anyway, you got Will Anderson. There's Eddie with your players, Jason K, Jameer Gibbs in there as well. There's Jason Parker with his players, Nolan Smith, Jeff Hen with a bunch of players right there. Who jumps out at me? Jordan Addison, BJ Ojolari, Stetson Bennett, Jeremy Port. They're your players right here. Got the all other players not on list, so that does include Bryce Young, CJ Stroud. Got Yurkovich, Joe among others. Got there's Anthony Richards and Matt's group. And Graham Mertz, Cameron Ward and Scott's group. Stephen K with the Bijan Robinson in his group. Got Aiden O'Connell, the Raiders. Will Levis is probably worth a little more, Trevor. <laughs> there you go. More than Aiden for my Raiders. There you go, gang. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. So stick around. BRB. All right. Welcome back, everybody. No deals were done, so the list remains the same. I've re-alphabetized it back to uh, player names, so it's easier for me to spot Right there. I appreciate that, Chad. Yeah, I know you'd be all in on a million dollar bounty. Someday. We've got to move more of these uh, best university cases if we're going to save up for a million dollar bounty. Get that bounty money going. lot more of these best university cases. All 
All right, good luck, boys and girls. Each uh, mini box will contain one auto. Just like the usual uh, best format. Bowman's Best has two autos per mini. Baseball, doesn't it? I think it's Finest, which is, looks like the same shape boxes, has one. Anyway, two autos a box in this set. Um, let's, let's, uh, I haven't kept track of baseball scores today. Let's whip around the league while we're doing this football break. Uh, Celtics, there's only one playoff game, basketball playoff game today. Celtics smoked the Sixers with Joel Embiid, so that's interesting. We'll see what happens there. Series is tied 1-1. Uh, Rockies beat the Brewers 7-1. Angels beat the Cardinals 6-4. I think Otani had 13 strikeouts in, a, in a, like five innings or something like that. Royals shut out the Orioles 6-0. Red Sox beat the Blue Jays 8-3. White Sox beat the Twins 6-4. Yankees and Extras edged out the Guardians 4-3. Nationals beat the Cubs 2-1. Rays beat the Pirates, the 20-win uh, the Pirates, believe it or not. Rays beat the Pirates 8-1. Tigers beat the Mets 8-1. Braves beat up on the Marlins 14-6. Padres one run to the Reds 7-1. Dodgers on a Max Muncy walk-off grand slam beat the Phillies 10-6. They sweep the Phillies and then they go on the road to face the uh, Padres. Go down the road to face the Padres. Giants beat the Astros 4-2. Diamondbacks beat the Rangers 12-7. Tigers beat the Mets 6-5, and the uh, A's are currently leading the Mariners 2-1. Bottom of the eighth. There's Jalen Carter. And uh, all card chip in this as well. There's Xavier Hutchinson to 150. That will be for Stephen K. Yeah, what happened in that game, Nick? What happened to the Brewers? They shouldn't be losing to the Rockies, right? A four on fourth, that'll do it. This fight song, Will Levis. There's bass, Will Levis. Milwaukee only got, f they got five hit by who? By Kyle Freeland? Among others, it's a decent season for Kyle Freeland. Not a bad start for Eric Lauer, but their uh, their bullpen really didn't help him out. Mm, rough train ride home for for Nick and the crew. There's Trenton Simpson, T. Simp, Simp, twenty two. That will be for. For Joe, for Joe Uber. There's a Speckle, Hendon Hooker. There's a Bryce Young, Jordan Addison. Jordan Addison going to Jeff Hennon. It's had a 250, Jeff. Bryce Young going to the all-other players spot. And there's Tavion Thomas. That will be for, for Jason K. This could be one for the future, Chad. Caleb Williams. He's got the hype now. But, you know, obviously, a, one season can go by and that could change everything. I mean, this guy pretty much only played one season, right? So the stock can rise and fall really quickly during the college season. Rex has some trivia for us. How many walk-off Grand Slams in MLB history? In MLB history? The regular season walk-off Grand Slams? 
I did. I had a four unit play on the uh, Red Sox yesterday, Jason. I had one of my best baseball betting days yesterday, and I, uh, I pretty much, I, and I was doing very poorly in April, and I think that one day kind of made up for it. So I didn't do anything today. I might have some plays for tomorrow, but I had a, I had a four unit play on Boston. It made me sweat it out a little bit. Do I think I have to thank Connor Wong for a for a late inning home run that broke the tie and ultimately gave them the win. It was close. They won again today too. This is from 1876 to May 2nd, 2023, so it does not include Max Muncy's today. I mean, I don't even know where to start, Rex. Is it over or under 10? And maybe I'll try to guess from there. Thanks for asking, Jason. I appreciate it. I do have my April record posted on the Joe's Picks tab. I will keep that updated as much as I can. I haven't really done the daily updates as well, but I got through April. That record is just through April. Through April, uh, I'm only 40 and 64 with a 38.46 win percentage. I don't mind the win percentage as long as I'm plus units. I was minus 8.28 units, but I think after yesterday's play, and I won a bunch of other games too, I think I'm now plus like two or three units now. So that one day making up for the month is kind of nice. Got to pick my spots though. Uh, Dave Barros, what up, man? Uh, guessing 27. It's between 200 and 300? Wow, that's that's a lot more than I ever thought it would be. Walk-off Grand Slams? Yeah, I, I don't know. 206. Where are you getting this information, Rex? Sometimes you got you have to you have to fact check Rex. From the first opening day in Major League Baseball history back in 1876 through May 2nd, 2023, there are 278 instances of players hitting a walk-off grand slam according to Baseball Almanac. Wow. That just seems like a lot. <laughs> There's Peyton Thorne. That's for Jeremy Port and Peyton. I guess that's a hundred and what fifty some odd years of baseball, and I guess that's about two per year. Scott's saying, good math. Yeah, so I, I mean, I guess that makes sense. That's an average of two-ish per year. So I suppose, I suppose I should have, uh, I should have used logic, but I didn't. I should have been like, how many seasons of baseball have there been between those years? And I, could, I would have just guessed one a year. I probably would have guessed 150 or something like that. All right, good trivia, Rex. Good trivia. This is a Raider right here. Marcelo, Marcelo Meyer? No, that's a baseball player. Michael Meyer. Michael Meyer is not on this list. It goes Mason, Mitchell, Nathaniel. So that goes to the all other players. This goes to Jeremy Port. So to CJ Stroud. Will Anderson will go to uh, will go to Ed P. There's another Tavion Thomas that goes to uh, Jason K. Yeah, Nick, they're, they're not always very good. So we got to really appreciate when they are good. Credit where credit is due. Good trivia, Rex. Well, now we want more. Yeah, this is good trivia. It, it, it would have... Related to the Max Muncy Grand Slam walk-off. 
pertinent to the conversation, in the right lane, good timing on it, fooled everybody, everyone learned something. David, what, I would, what did I guess? I was saying, is it over a 10? <laughs> over under 10? Barros only guessed 27. But I guess if we, if we thought maybe one a year, we should have been able to logic our way out of that. Should I bust out a, I, I've, I should bust out a trivia, a bit of trivia that I have not, uh, that I have not asked this trivia question in a little while. But after Rex's next trivia, who has the most Grand Slams and how many? I could tell you who has the most Grand Slams in a single inning. That would be Fernando Tatis Sr. against the Dodgers' uh, Korean pitcher Chan Ho Park. Park Chan Ho. Two Grand Slams, one inning off the same pitcher. Fernando Tatis Sr. And David says, what was the year that had the most walk-off home runs? I say most Grand Slams... Jim Tomey. James is guessing Manny Ramirez. There's Ramon Davis, Aqua Lava to 199. That will be for Jeff. Caleb Williams for Chad. Any other guesses for uh, the trivia questions in the chat? And what was the year that the most walk-off home runs? I would say somewhere in the 90s. There's Jaron Hall. Jaron Hall will go to Jeff Henn. And how many ultimate Grand Slams in baseball history? Well, I would say like... I would say a thousand Grand Slams in Major League Baseball history. A-Rod had the most Grand Slams at 25? Wow. What about the year? What about David's uh, trivia question? And what about Chad's ultimate Grand Slams in history question? Oh, here, oh and a Hendon Hooker autograph. Nice. Ooh, that's a kind of a cool. I don't think I ever realized what Hendon Hooker's autograph is going to be. For a two-letter autograph, I think that looks pretty sharp. That goes to uh, Chad and the Hendon Hooker spot. We'll also get this base card. Oh, how many, sorry, I missed that chat. How many ultimate Grand Slams in major, major League? And ultimate, I've never heard of ultimate Grand Slam, by the way. Is defined as a team down by three and hitting a Grand Slam. Ooh, Gary got 23 Grand Slams. Manny had 21. Here's a Bryce Young speckle, not numbered. I have no, well, if there were, what did Rex say? How many walk-off Grand Slams were there? If there was 278, ultimate Grand, I feel like that situation can't be too common or as common. Would, would it be more common than a walk-off situation? Maybe it's more common than a walk-off situation. So I'd say 400 ultimate Grand Slams.
In 87, Don Mattingly set the record for most Grand Slams in a single season with six. And they were the only Grand Slams of his career. Wait, ultimate walk-off Grand Slams? All right, so if Rex was saying there were just 278 grand walk-off Grand Slams in general, I would think the number has to be less than that. So then I would say 195. Specifically the situation where a team was down by, by three and walked it off with a Grand Slam. 32? Huh. That's it. So all the all, all other situations were were two runs, a two run difference or less to walk it off, two one or tied. Hmm. No, in one inning, Chad. Yeah, Re Rex is talking about how Ventura charged the mound and got six hits from Nolan Ryan's fist. Very ill-advised. Ventura at the time, I think, was a young punk. And Nolan Ryan, yeah, he's, he's ornery. Yeah. There's 158 out of 199. Henry, 2020. Henry's going to go to Matt. Joey Porter Jr. die cut. Another Hendon Hooker. And a Justin uh, Ademiola. Justin's going to go to, I think he's on this list. He's going to go to Chad. It's a 75, Chad. Uh, yeah, you know, do, Chad, do you not remember the video? And Nolan Ryan won that handily. And Peyton Thorne, gold autograph. Another Peyton Thorne for, for Port. 10 out of 50. How is Hendon Hooker the QB of the future in the Lions when he's only three years younger than Jared Goff? Well, it's, as Indiana Jones says, James, it's not the years, it's the mileage. Less mileage on Anthony Richardson. And how long is... Uh, Goff's contract. I don't think that long. Did Nolan Ryan actually stay in the game? That's another bit of trivia. I don't think he got ejected, right? I feel like the umps were like, well, he charged first. Yeah, it was... I want to say that the story is the reason why I think Nolan Ryan even threw at Ventura was because Ventura had kind of pimped a home run off of Nolan Ryan in spring. I don't think it was even off Nolan Ryan. I think in spring training, you know, Ventura had admired a home run or kind of pimped a home run a little bit, you know. 
And I think Nolan Ryan was like, he didn't like it. <laughs> and he was determined that he was going to plunk the kid or kind of throw at him if he ever saw him. And he did. And then Robin Ventura was, was taught a lesson. Uh, was it White Sox pitchers constantly hitting batters so the Rangers had retaliated? Yeah, there, there was history there. It wasn't just this isolated incident. All right, so here's some trivia. Now, most of you know, let, let's say, here's a compass rose here, north, south, east, west. There's a baseball diamond. The reason why uh, Lefties are called southpaws is because most stadiums are oriented where a left-handed pitcher, right, this way, his arm would, his left arm would be pointing south, right? So most baseball stadiums are kind of oriented where home plate is either pointing south to southwest, right? For the most part, there are only... One, two, three, four. There's only four NL ballparks where they don't point south or southwest. What are they? Let's see if, how many people know their ballparks. So there's only four ballparks in the NL. We'll go AL later. Only four ballparks in the NL. I've done this trivia before, so for you longtime listeners... Forget it, but I feel like we got some new people here. Four ballparks that don't point south or southwest, where the where home plate isn't pointing south or southwest. No NL stadium goes southeast, by the way. No stadiums are oriented this way. But there are four that are kind of like this way. There's Jermaine Burton from Alabama that's going to go to Chad. James is saying Braves, Reds, Pirates. Yes, Brave Stadium points this way, northwest, like that. Did you look it up, James? Reds, Great American Ballpark, also pointed like that. Um, Pirates, PNC is also pointed like that. There's one more. Yep, Easy Note has got it. And James got it too. Brewers, Miller Park is oriented like that. All other stadiums, either that home plate's pointing directly south, will point south, or in between south and southwest, anywhere around there. In the AL, there are one, two, three stadiums. 
Yeah, uh, the giant stadium. The giant stadium points straight west, like that. But there are three stadiums in AL that are pointed not southwest, that are pointed northwest, like this. No stadium goes this way, by the way. All stadiums are oriented either south to southwest. A few are this way. Three AL stadiums. And there's door and trap. The reason I think they're pointed in that direction is the sun in um, your eyes. There's Doran Travis to 99. That'll be for Chad. There's an Anthony Richardson die cut. One, two, yeah, three AL stadiums are oriented. A little weird like that. Don't look it up. Try to try to think of. Oh well, James looked it up. James is right though. Comerica for the Tigers. Home plate points northwest. Guaranteed rate field for the White Sox. Home plate points northwest. And the Rangers Stadium also points northwest. Yeah, we're trying to play trivia, James. Trying to test your knowledge. Not uh, not seeing who can look it up the quickest. Jaden Reed. It's all good. But, I mean, it's interesting, right? I don't think people would have gotten it right away anyway. Um, Jaden Reed goes to Ed P. All right, three boxes to go. Yeah, actually, Globe Life points northwest. I don't know. I th this the, I'm looking at Baseball Almanac, so Globe Life is not does not exist anymore. So I don't know where the new Ranger Stadium points the same way. But see, I think if you're in a in a dome, that's a lot of times those dome stadiums will kind of point in a different way. But usually, most stadiums are pointed that way because of. Because of sun issues, you don't want to get sun in people's eyes during day games. Right? But yeah, most baseball stadiums are naturally oriented where southwest. So that's why when a lefty's on the mound, their left arm is usually south. Hence, southpaw. Now, for instances like, I think for like the, for like the San Francisco Giants Stadium, the home, home plate shoots directly, like home plate to second base, that line is directly east-west, which, which may create a sun issue. No, when the sun is ri rising? Well, the sun sets in the in the west so I guess the sun would be behind the, the the stadium so it wouldn't be in the pitcher's eye because that's where you know the rest of the be the rest of the, the stands are right behind there but I guess there could be a point during the day where the sun would be right in the pitcher's eyes but I think I think the reason for that, it's not common, but the reason for that is because they, they were building the stadium right along the, the water. So I think the, the geography kind of dictated the, the stadium there. 
Here is Kool-Aid McKinstry die cut. Speckle. So does the does the sun get into the pitcher's eyes? Zach Harrison to 75. That's probably not a good thing. Like during a day game that runs late. I guess games don't run late anymore. Here's Zach Harrison Lava. That would be for Trevor. So if they start a 1 o'clock game, that, that'll be done by 3 anyway, so that's not going to be a problem. And even national games will probably start like at 5 o'clock Pacific. I guess that could be a problem if the sun sets at around 7. Caleb Williams speckle for uh, Chad. Here's his rival, Dorian Thomas Robinson. And here's a Caleb Williams autograph. This is what Chad was asking for. He's like, hey, while we're doing trivia, can you pull me a Caleb Williams auto? Sure. Why not? 14 out of 50. You need to hold on to this one, Chad, till around this point next year. In hopes that he has like a, a Heisman award-winning season. There's Ramon Davis to 150. That will be for uh, for Jeff. Ah, I got you. So Barrows is also saying they built it in a way that helps block the wind as well. So you can throw a paper airplane. It'll sit in midair and float in front of you. Try and see. I need to look up some TikToks of that. Need a choo-choo for Kayla Williams. Train whistles are for out of fives and under. Here's another Peyton Thorne for Jeremy Port. And as a UCLA fan, I don't know if I could give Kayla Williams a train whistle. I don't know. I've all the so-called experts, and I don't watch enough college. I'm obviously not a football scout. I, a lot of, a lot of the uh, so-called experts seem to think that Caleb Williams, if he does you know, what he's expected to do in, the, in this year of college, is supposed to be top five, top ten pick or first quarterback off the board. What if the Dolphins draft uh, Tua's brother? That'd be kind of funny. Which I suppose is po was possible, I guess. We don't know. I mean, I'm hoping for the best for Tua's health. Yeah, candlestick. The wind was crazy there. Ah, Chad's, is that trivia, Chad? Per the CDC research, which sport expands a person's life expectancy the most or help you live longer, live stronger and longer than all other sport activities? I say... I say uh, walking, speed walking. Hmm, swing is a good one, Dave Barrows. I like that. I want something low impact and uh, and 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 higher heart rates. Is what I'm going with. A light jog, 30 minutes a day. That sport. <laughs> yeah. 
American football. Jess James's guess. I don't know about that one. Wow. Racket sports, tennis, badminton, and then racquetball? That's my sport. I, I, I grew up playing a lot. I still play some tennis, not as much, but. There's Tizwan Harry. Tizwan. Tizan Harry. That goes to Joe. Joe Yu. I do enjoy the tennis. I suppose that's because it's what? Yeah, racquetball's a mini court. High bursts of energy. Running around, swinging, swinging something. A lot of short bursts running. Not a lot of sustained running that could damage joints. There's a Hendon Hooker, 149 out of 199. Aqua Lava going to Chad. I enjoy the tennis. I just don't know a lot of people who play a lot of tennis in my peer group. A lot of golfers, though. Where's golf on the list? Will Levis, if you don't take a cart. Will Levis Speckle, that's going to go to... It's going to go to Trevor. And Cade McNamara. Cade McNamara will go to... Cade will go to Chad. Now, guess by how many years tennis adds to your life? On an average person, on a casual basis only? What's casual? Like, what, a couple hours a week? Ten. It is good exercise. Short bursts of short bursts of running and then rest. Short bursts of running and rest. There's like interval training. Golf is not considered a sport, so it's not like, what? Golf's a sport. I said ten, which I feel like is a lot, but I'm shooting the moon. 9.7, look at that. Give, giving myself the hit on the bell. There's more tennis players out there. Let's go play some tennis. Oh, see, this is why I do with a box check so I don't lose a pack. Did Tennessee release Malik Willis? No, not at the moment. I, I feel like they're more inclined to release Ryan Tannehill before they release Malik Willis. Have two QBs under two QBs under a uh, rookie contract. Three is soccer, four is cycling, five swimming, six jogging, seven just general calisthenics. I do like swimming. I enjoy the swimming. I could do that. Weather needs to get a little warmer though. Soccer, I played a lot of soccer too, but I feel like I definitely gonna gonna tear an ACL playing soccer. Rob Lowe was a great tennis player back in the day. Really? I feel like why that feel like that rings a bell. Rings a trivia bell. Was he like ranked in Southern California? Cal I think he's from California. Was he like a ranked youth teen uh, teenage uh, tennis player? Masterpieces, Speckle, C.J. Stroud, Bryce Young, Refractor, for all other, Jeremy. Yeah, I can't believe they kind of, I mean, unless, unless Tennessee's thinking they're going to have like a Trey Lance, Brock Purdy situation. Here's Nathaniel Dell. It's for Jeff. I, I was a little surprised that they uh, 
I was a little surprised that they, uh, whatchamacallit, went with oh, Levis. I don't know what they, maybe they, maybe they end up trading Malik Willis. They found golfers to take more sugar and calories than they lose and no cardio. What about, <laughs> I mean, that's, what if like no cart, no cart, all walking, carry your own bag kind of golfing? See, most people just drink beer and ride a cart all day long. 78 out of 99, uh, Dontavian Wicks. That'll go to the all other player spot. Wait, what, what was the case hit? It looks like an outlaw poster. No, that's not a case hit. Those die cuts we see a lot of. Like these. Yeah. Those are pretty common. But here's an Anthony Richardson die cut, Matt Johnson. There's a Hendon Hooker, and there's a Clayton Toon, our final autograph. That goes to Jeremy Port. Name that tune. It's Clayton. And there's another Hendon Hooker right there as well. Scott could see them trading Willis when some team's QB goes down. Actually, that's a good point. And just keep hanging out to Malik Willis until until a team loses a quarterback, which happens every year, someone, and then you, you make that call. All right, gang, here's the recap. There's the Caleb Williams, which is pretty nice, even though he's a, UCL, a USC guy. Some Bryce Young's got a hen and hooker as well. So not too shabby. Hopefully these guys, if they're drafted, hopefully they become pro all pros. If they're not drafted, hopefully they're future first-round draftees. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.